Um, Sheldon, obviously there has to be some excitement building up here. It comes fast, that first preseason game, but ju just your thoughts going into today. Yeah, I'm excited, you know, to get behind the bench, uh, you know, get uh, on the other side uh, of the of the bench benches here at Prudential. And, and probably most importantly for me, just, you know, get uh, working with our guys in a, in a game environment, both on an individual level and on a team level. As you're really starting to build something, you know, you need to get into the games to really make that happen. How would you describe yourself as behind the bench? Like, sort of what are you like as a coach? Uh, I mean, I like to think I'm, I like to think I'm, uh, hard to describe, I guess. I want to say, uh, you know, I, I like to think I'm, I'm involved. I'm involved. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm talking to the players. I'm engaged. A lot of times I'm sort of, uh, kind of, kind of narrating the game a little bit from, from the back and, and giving some direction that way. But, uh, you know, you feel it out as you know your, your team in terms of what they need. Sometimes they need you to be a little more emotional. They need you to be a little bit louder and a little more engaged in the game. Sometimes, you know, they're, they're really feeling it and they're rolling, and then you're just kind of sitting back there making sure you're keeping the lines rolling and, and uh, assessing the game and such. So I, I guess if I could describe it, I think, uh, you know, through experience, I think it's important to be able to adapt to whatever the game requires. And really you want to have a team that's dynamic like that too and can adapt and adjust to whatever's happening in the game. When you're looking at the composition of your roster heading into today, we've talked so much about you know needing to have NHL heavy given the preseason schedule and going over to Europe. How have you sort of built this and needing to see some people but also wanting to get guys ready? Yeah, it's challenging. I mean, I'm here, a lot of times you come into training camp and you kind of know what you have, right? You know who your NHL players are. And certainly we know who the NHL players are, but I'm learning a lot about them. Um, and I'm also trying to learn about the guys who are trying to compete for spots and who's going to, you know, perhaps push and, and, and potentially uh, fill in for some of our injured guys, who's going to be the first call-ups, like all these kind of things you get sorted out through preseason. Um, we don't have necessarily a, a great deal of time for that. So we're prioritizing more getting the NHL players ready uh, for real games and trying to maximize it the way that our schedule lines up here with four games for going to Prague and two of those games are back-to-back -back situations. Basically, we're in a situation where our NHL players are going to get uh, likely two games for sure and a lot of them three. You know, some of the guys felt pretty strong like they wanted to get right into it today. Like yesterday, I described some of the ones that we held out for, for various reasons, mainly to do with injuries, just to give them a little more time you know, to get into next week before playing games. But... Uh, you know, it certainly is a little bit different in terms of the approach. Usually there's certain guys you definitely wanted to see and give them an opportunity, and there's some of them uh, here tonight, but uh, more NHL guys that I really wanted to get involved. You know, obviously, like, you want to win every game you play, but in the preseason, particularly preseason game number one, is, is the most important thing for you to see here, like, some of the transfer over from what you've been practicing on in the, in the game situation? Yeah, absolutely. That's what you're looking for. Really, the biggest thing that I'm looking for is is to get some clips of our of our guys doing the things I'm looking for in Devils jerseys. I watched a lot of Maple Leafs video this summer and, and the off season, and and I reluctantly had to use some clips in in our meetings with the players just because some of the things I'm asking them for those are the best examples. So uh, I can move past that here today, hopefully with enough examples to be able to start building the building things out and reinforcing the things that we've covered through three days. We covered a lot in a short amount of time. But the idea is so that as you get into the, like, the game one here today of the preseason, you can, uh, the players have a sense of anything you're really trying to coach. You know, they have a reference point. They've repped it out in practice. They've seen it in a meeting. And there's going to be some things to fine tune here and there, of course. And that's going to take some time, uh, pro you know, well beyond preseason for that. But... Uh, the guys have a sense of what we want to do, and then now it's about you know, building it in the game environment and then building those fundamental habits we need uh, outside the structure, too. Good. Sheldon, I want to ask more. Um, has there been any surprises? You don't even have to tell me. I know you got to get, uh, you mentioned the, the team together quickly as you're going to Prague, but every year there's always a surprise guy. Have you guys in the coaching staff gone, this guy's better than I thought, maybe, possibly? I mean, you don't even have to mention the name, but has that been discussed? Yeah, we've, we, we have, and again, I'm in, in my unique situation, 
I'm learning about and in some cases been surprised about some of the guys who, you know, uh, have either been up and down and not full-time NHLers, but I'm also learning about and being surprised by some of the NHL guys that I have known, but from a much different perspective on the other side and getting to see how they work in practice and how they conduct themselves off the ice and how they prepare. Uh, I've been really impressed with lots of lots of guys. There's some some that you know we, we need to help and we need to coach and we need to push and, and challenge a bit. Uh, but there's lots of examples here, both of players that have been here, some of the veterans that we added in the off season, and some of our minor league guys that are pushing. So that's been encouraging.